In reality, I should like the Scream films because of the whole examination of the cliches, the tropes and the films poking fun of what they are, slasher films, but also franchise films that are being milked to death and they're just churning out and doing installments of. And I can appreciate that if it's executed and done well. And I think overall, that's my problem with these films, minus the first one, is that the execution just isn't really there for the films to succeed as satirical slasher films. My experience watching Scream 6 was almost identical to my experience watching Scream 5. The first half I was like, you know what? We're on track, this looks like it can be good. The kills are really gory and satisfying. And then the second half, it just goes downhill and downhill with more of the derivative drivel that we've come to expect from these screen films. It's the same stuff over and over and over and over again. You know, the halfway point where they all get together and they start talking about what film they're in now, you know, whether it's the sequel or the third film in a trilogy or the fourth reboot, remake, fourth installment or the legacy sequel or now we're in a franchise so we have to subvert expectations to keep the franchise alive. That line made me laugh when the girl says in order to keep the franchise going we've got to subvert expectations. I was just sitting there going, you are not subverting dick with this film. <laughs> the writing just isn't as clever as it thinks it is. You can poke fun at all the cliches and tropes that you want, but it doesn't matter when in the very next scene, you use those very tropes that you're poking fun of, but not in an ironic way, especially in Scream 5 and 6, where the tone is trying to be more serious. When you use the tropes that you just took the piss out of in the previous scene, it just makes your whole point irrelevant. You can acknowledge what you are all you want, but at the end of the day, you still are what you are. And in the case of Scream 6, per my opinion, it's another shitty Scream sequel, with nothing else really new to add to this franchise, especially the villain reveal. Every other Scream film after the first one, the villain reveal has always been super lame to me. It's always the worst possible character that they could have chosen to be the killer. And in this film, mild spoiler, it's just really, really mild. I'm not gonna say who it is, it's just a detail. But they're the family member, or family members, of one of the previous Ghostface killers from one of the previous Scream films. And I was just like, oh my God, are you trying to out-family the Fast and Furious franchise at this point, seriously? It was kind of pathetic, actually, because they have that narrative framework that they can just lazily use to keep churning out more and more Scream films. Because in the next one, it'll be the dad of the previous killer. And then in the next one, it'll be the sister or the, the mother or the second freaking cousin. It's just going to be the same bullshit over and over again. <laughs> All of this can be forgiven if the film's enjoyable and it at least has decent characters and decent storytelling. But it just doesn't. You have the whole cliche thing of the overprotective sister who's watching the little sister's every single move because of what happened last time. And you've seen that storyline played out literally 5,012 times before. <laughs> and Christ, some of the dialogue in there, especially there's one line said by Jenna Ortega early on that she says later on in the finale during the whole fight. And I'm just like, oh my God, stop. Just so in case you couldn't tell, I wasn't a fan of Scream 6. <laughs> um, up until the finale, I thought the film was just whatever, but then the villain reveal happened and it just screwed the film into the dirt for me and I was just like, screw this damn film and screw this franchise, I'm, I'm done. If Scream 7, sorry, when Scream 7 comes out, remind me not to go see it, remind me not to bother because I'm just probably not gonna like it at all. Despite how many positive reviews it gets, I'm still just gonna be like, whatever, I don't get it.